Oh. You think we're ever going to get to go to Canada? I'm never going on a cruise. Um, that's fine. Less, less buffet lines for me. It's pretty chill, honestly. I think a cruise is a great vacation if you're like one of those people who travels to a city and then just spends like most of the time in the hotel. And I'm not, I'm saying that with no judgment because, you know, as we, that was not me before we had kids. Now that I have a toddler, that's us. We'll like go somewhere and then be like, you know, wake up, get ready, eat lunch, and then be like, you know, go down, have a nap, wake up, go out, eat some dinner. So boring, people. Do you ever get tired of like just being hateful? <laughs> Do you ever think about just like being nice and seeing if it ever like the, the world ever reflected that niceness back to you? It's crazy, man. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. It's, it's a damn Hagia Sophia. Don't touch it. It's going to be millions of dollars in damages. Okay, spin me. I'm a hater, but people are still nice to me for some reason. Probably because in real life you're like quiet and don't rock the boat. You're only a hater online would be my guess. If you're a hater in real life and people are nice to you, then you're probably hot. So congratulations. Like, whatever. You didn't earn it. Probably. Or you're in a position of power over the people that are nice to you, but probably not. Or people are really scared of you. Yeah, it's true. That's the alternative. People might be like, this guy's not a hater. This guy's like a risk. There is that. Hey, we were only like a minute and a half off of the time trial there. Great photo, too. I'm... It's simple, like, you got me in a fucked up position here to start with. You can't do a shift change in the middle of Florence, okay? If you're driving the boat when we get to Florence, you either give me the helm at the start so I can set up the vectors right, or you drive through the whole fucking thing and then I'll take over when you get to the, the Mediterranean. Sorry, my shift's over. Nobody wants to work these days, man. Great driving. He's doing it. Ooh, get me away from here, I'm pogging. Give me a ship to set me free. Nobody pogs me like they used to, so it may as well be. Hey, well, okay, you get ready. We are cruising too. You gotta start your turn a little earlier. We're ignoring the photo spot because I saw the camera icon too late. Cruise ships are banned in Venice. This isn't a cruise ship. This is my private yacht. I'm Jared Leto from the House of Gucci. Oh, hello. Skirt, skirt. I'm spinning. Is it my room that's hot or is it the living room that's hot? Do so you what? open the door? There's like a, a, there's a temperature change. It's obviously your room that's hot. My room's hot? Yeah. Why is this like 26 in here? It's not not hot. I don't know if that thing is correct. You don't think that the no. thermometer on my clock is correct? No. I think it's pretty good. No, I don't think it's 26. I've been putting that in my... Uh, in my armpit when I check to see if I have a fever. <laughs> <laughs> I was not going to say armpit at first. <laughs> You're going to say your butthole? I was going to say my butthole, yeah. But then I was like, I can't say asshole to my wife. It just feels weird. What did you, what did you say? I was uh, pulling out. So I couldn't... Uh... What, what did I say when? I've been saying lots of stuff. No, you said my wife, and then influencer. 
Oh, I said she's not a self-hating influencer. I said you kind of enjoy being an influencer. That's true. I'm like... I, I just want to be a guy. You don't want to be an influencer? I don't mind, like, having influence. But the, the, con the context we were talking about it was like, would you ever do like a vacation where you IRL stream? And I was like, no, because that shit's not a vacation, it's work. Bro, that's what I did! And then that's how you, you got brought up. And I was like, I, I am too uh, protective of like my alone time. You did it like my three hour walking around in Seoul? My ass was asleep when you did that. This is probably like 1 a.m. here. I'd rather, I, I'd go for a walk, but I would not, uh, I, w I mean, I love going for a walk, just not with like a GoPro strapped to my head being asked like, hey, eight years ago, you said you don't understand flatbreads at Subway. Have you changed your mind? So when Kate said she liked it when it's clean in here, let me tell you a little story. Spring cleaning, right? We're trying to get rid of some of the clutter. So we have this bar cart that used to have some alcohol in it, but then... We don't really drink that much anymore, and when we do, we just get some beers instead of making ourselves like an Aperol spritz, because it's not 2020 anymore. So I was like, we gotta get rid of this bar cart, okay? By the way, Sir Electric, thank you for the raid, thank you. I cleaned off the bar cart, All I took all the liquor off of it, it had gone, I know you're gonna say it doesn't go bad, I promise you, this shit had gone bad, okay? Like, it was disgusting. I, I poured it all out in the sink, washed the bottles, recycled the bottles, um, cleaned off the whole bar cart, found a picture of the exact bar cart online, and I said, hey, Corey, do you want this? He said, let me check with my uh, girlfriend, and he said, no, I don't want it. I said, no problem. Then I said, hey, Kate, today we should make a post on like Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace and just give away this bar cart for free, okay? This was Saturday at... 9.07 a.m. It's the damn start of the weekend. It's the one thing on my to-do list. Kate says, good idea, okay? Then she says, wait, let me ask my sister if my sister wants it. Sister comes back in one second. Boop, I want it. Okay, great. Well, we're not gonna drive it to you because you live three hours away, but we can like hang on to it. And next time you uh, come over, you can pick it up. Then she starts sending back, can you give me some measurements? Will it fit in our car? Oh, I'm not sure if it'll fit in the trunk. Oh, I don't know if we have a place for it in our house. Can we disassemble it so that we can like fit it into our trunk? We're like, yeah, yeah, it's all good. No big deal. This takes us till Sunday morning. Finally on Sunday morning, Kate texted her sister and was like, do you still want it? Five hours later, we get a reply. Uh, no, actually you guys can just get rid of it. Motherfucker. <laughs> I had one thing on my to do list so easy to accomplish for the whole weekend. All you had to do was say no the first time, make a post on Craigslist, free bar cart. It would be, it would be locusts outside of our house in like an hour. They'll be like, I'm here, I'll pick it up. No problem, I got it, I got it, I want it, I want it, I want it, I want it. People would be banging down, beating down our damn door to get it. It's like Sunday at 7 p.m. I'm not making that post. Gotta wait till like next weekend, man. Anyway, it's not like a big deal, but it's kind of annoying. <laughs> what happened to it? It's still sitting here. <laughs> Some information that would have been useful to me yesterday. Oh man, just put it out on the street. I don't think we really do that here, like. You see it sometimes, but like, I don't know. I feel like when people put furniture out on the street, it's like, basically they're like, I don't know how to throw this away. I'm doing this like, to make myself feel good that I'm donating it, but actually like, it's just out of sight, out of mind. I would, I got no problem putting it on Craigslist and just being like free if you come pick it up. Cause at least then they like want it. But like, I'm not gonna put, like a piece of furniture out there on the street and then like it rains or something like that and you know like I think it's just littering it depends where you live like I'm not gonna say I've never picked up furniture like that in college but but these days put it out on the street 
negative two. Okay, actually, it's um, classist for me to put it out on the street because I live in uh, a, a pretty nice neighborhood where, like, we got a lot of people driving BMWs here and paying for their heated seats. So if I put it on Craigslist, that gives the opportunity for people who might not be able to afford their own bar carts to actually uh, get a bar cart and have a nice piece of furniture. So I would be I would be an asshole if I put it out on the street. How do you feel now? You fucking dickhead. <laughs> Okay, hang on. It's the the leaning tower of pizza. I drove through a nice neighborhood once and found a Herman Miller on the side of the road. See, that's that must have been an office that went out of business. Cuz if if my ass was getting rid of my Herman Miller, I would definitely put it on Craigslist for like 500 bucks. There's no shot I'm leaving that. Like the bar cart whatever. <laughs> my you're not getting the Herman Miller on on, uh, you know, free if you pick it up, Craigslist. You just wait your turn. That's too fast. Hey, hey, Jordan Belford, you can just stop. That's actually your fault, by the way. That has nothing to do with me, that your ass doesn't know how to drive. Like, sure, maybe you had the right-of-way. Uh, well, it turns out you're dead and I'm still alive, so enjoy having the right-of-way in heaven. Literally, all you had to do was touch your brakes for two seconds. You would have been fine. He's spinning. He's spinning. This game's too hard, man. You know what? You might be right. Maybe honking my horn would have stopped him. Why does he go so slow? Because it's fucking hard, dude. <laughs> it's a hard-ass game. People are too impatient these days. This would be the best day on a cruise, you know? Like, you're, you're actually, like, not just in the open ocean. Cruises I've been on, there's been days where you, like, you're just going out there and you're just raw dog in the water for a few days. And you know what? It's still a great time. Someone's cooking for you. Someone's cleaning for you. Hey, maybe we'll stop in at the gift shop. Maybe have a couple two-hearted ales. Gun it. You go to a cruise casino? I've never been on a, on a cruise ship with a casino, actually. I'm more than capable of losing enough money just paying for the tickets. Imagine if you won, though. Well, you know, I, I should say I've never been on a, a cruise ship with a casino. However, the Disney cruises do run bingo. And that's kind of... This was, like, maybe one of my proto learning to hate gambling arcs. Because, like, we went to bingo once. They did it, like, four times on the cruise. And we're like, oh, this could be fun. And we bought, like, one paper ticket each. And then we looked around us, and everybody was rocking fucking, like two iPads with like 27 tickets on each iPad and I was like oh shit so the next time we went back we're like we'll take one of the iPads each and then we were like they we, like you don't even dab the the numbers like the iPad just does it for you like it's all linked up and we didn't win we saw people running like four iPads we went back for the finale I said I can't continue in this accelerationism uh, we'll just take two iPads. And then some of these motherfuckers had like eight iPads per person. And I was like, this is just like, I can't do this. Like, you're fucking insane. 
You're spending like $300 to try to win cruise ship bingo on a Disney cruise? Like I just, it just took all the fun out of it. But it is like, it's a, it's a money maker for sure. They should put like some tires or something there. No, the prize was like, I think the prize was something like $10,000. So like the winner was even good, but still. It's just like, the EV is obviously bad because like the company's turning a profit on it. But I like it, it takes it, for me, it's like, my ideal form of gambling, and this people are gonna be like minus two because this isn't as fun. My ideal form of gambling is like if everybody at the bingo was like, hey, here's 10 bucks and whoever wins, wins. One of the worst types of gambling for me is, hey, the more money you spend, the greater the odds that you're gonna win at the expense of everybody else that like you could become friends with instead. Because, uh, you know, it incentivizes... I don't want to say selfish behavior, but like it incentivizes behavior that's good for the individual instead of good for, you know, have maximizing having a good time. You know what I mean? Give me a little gas, a little less gas. He's crazy. The cruise goers could have risen up against the bingo caller and taken the money for themselves. <laughs> I can't read that out loud. Ooh. Oh man, is this the whole game? Once you get to where you're going, it actually becomes a um, an extraction-based first-person shooter a la Escape from Tarkov. Right now, we are the uh, logistics crew. We're about to stock up the idea at Interchange. We got a, a container ship full of, like, you know, particle board bookshelves and stuff like that. This is on its way to, to woods. This is, we got all the condensed milk and the, and the GPUs. Doesn't this sound like the Grinch theme song? He's a donkey, donkey, donkey. He's got all the appeal of a stone faced crocodile, Mr. Grinch. Given the choice between you, I take the. Oh. Bro, what are you doing? Oh! It's re real hard to get off the wall once you find yourself on the wall. That helps. Sometimes you can just get a little bump. He's insane. <laughs> Look at that. As long as we still got the half with the buffet, I'm chilling, man. How is this boat still going? Um, it's still less dense than water, so it floats. Got a regular Isaac Newton in the chat. That's okay. Now we're in trouble. <laughs> I think I got one more in me. Based in Archimedes pill. Ever did a bit about how smart you had to be to like invent math? And then like we're like 16 years old in math class going like this shit is too hard. Sine, cos, tan. How am I supposed to remember three things? Meanwhile, Archimedes is like holding up a fucking like leaf and measuring the length of the shadow and going, oh, the Earth's approximately 17,000 kilometers in radius. It's just fucking crazy, dude. 
There should be a podcast where Bill Gates talks to Archimedes. All right. That was a Rasta scene? Okay, fucking Ken Jennings. <laughs> Guess what? It's Archimedes now. Deal with it. Thought Archimedes was the bath guy? You're thinking of Eureka's castle. Beautiful. Okay. It's just timing. Dunkety dunk, dunkety 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 dunk. Little speed, please. Which of the major ancient philosophers would be a flat earther? Bro, I don't think any of them were that smart. You give me a bathrobe and 60 years spent just talking with my lads, I'll come up with some better shit than like uh, Plato ever came up with. Me too. How hard could it be? The only real one is Diogenes. And I know nothing about him except that he, like, told jokes and lived in a wine barrel. He didn't take himself too seriously. It's kind of like history's first drill. What about Marcus? I don't consider Marcus to be a philosopher because he had a real job. He was an emperor and he just did philosophy on the side. It's like the best streamers are not actually streamers. They're like, oh, I work at NASA, but then like in my off time, I also stream Kerbal Space Program. The worst streamers are the ones who are like, I'm live 14 hours a day. And you're like, oh fuck, here we go. Chat, did you ever realize how hard it is to um, fucking make a phone call? Here we go again. Which one are you? The second one. <laughs> For sure. I was thinking about it. I might be so normal that I'm weird. Let me give you a data point. I think I went to like four grocery stores this weekend. I don't mean weird by streamer standards. I mean like weird by like even normal people standards. Why? Because they were fucking there. And you always need something from the grocery store. You don't always have to go in and be like, I'm going to buy like a bunch of frozen chicken breasts. Sometimes you just go into the grocery store and you're like, oh, a drink, a snack, something for later. You know, oh, well, we could always use garbage bags. Then you get home and you're like, oh, we already had garbage bags. Oh, well, you can never have too many garbage bags. Got it? Whatever. That's why the rooms at the back cost less. I think it's just dad behavior. I mean, I do need to like, maybe add some context. I have a two year old, so like the number of places I can go is like sort of limited. Going to the grocery store is sick because you like always need something. And then, you know, a kid can easily go into a grocery store it's not like taking them to a movie theater or something like that. The bar card story is Boomer Energy? No, it's not. Boomer Energy would be like, I need to get rid of this bar card. I'm going to put it on Craigslist for like $500. My ass was just like, I want to get it out of my house. I'm, I'll donate it to anybody. Anybody that can come pick it up can take it. Boomers will be like, hey, I have a... Uh, 
3,000 baseball cards from my childhood. I don't know what any of them are. I'll take 5,000 bucks for the whole lot. I think I got one more in me. <clears throat> Cash only, no trades. I know what I have. Dunkity dunkity dunk. No, I'm going to put that shit on, like, I'm not even going to tell you what website I'm going to put it on. Now that I've played my hand, i got to just leave that shit on the side of the road. <laughs> yeah, absolutely right. i got to, now my, because I brought up the damn anecdote, now i got to load it into my fucking car and drive to Goodwill or something like that. Because God forbid, if I loaded it up and drove to the Salvation Army, people would be like, the Salvation Army is not actually a good organization. So my ass goes to Value Village. Oh, Value Village, do you know they just sell all the donations that you get by weight? And oh, motherfucker, okay, where, what, do I, what am I supposed to do? There's no winning, man. This is the damn Grinch theme song, man. I hate when you have like a shared garbage room. This is why I don't like leaving stuff at the side of the road, because I like to think that I'm better than at least some other people. Not everybody, there's people that are better than me. Anybody who keeps their compost in their own freezer is definitely, like, better than me. I keep it on the counter um, and then just take it down more often. I'm not willing to sacrifice my freezer space for the compost. That's where the frozen french fries go. And really, like, if you have a Costco membership, you can only afford to put two things in your freezer anyway because they're all so big. But anyway, regardless... So, you know, when we've had shared, like, garbage and recycling rooms, every once in a while, you'll just, like, walk down there and someone has placed an entire couch in the garbage or recycling room. And you're like, you can walk through their headspace, but you just want to, like, sit them down for a second and be like, brother, I didn't want your couch, like, to begin with. And secondly, I definitely don't want it now that it's been soaking up, like, a thousand people's garbage vapor for, like, a week and a half down here. Like, it's just the way that you can dump your shit, but, like, not have to actually pay for someone to take it away. And then also you can be like, no, I didn't throw it away. I left it somewhere where someone could take it, and then it's it was there for long enough that eventually, like, the HOA just paid someone to take it away. Hang on, this is tight. Someone put a six foot long wood and steel sideboard in our apartment dumpster today. That shit pisses me off, man. I'm gonna have like a bad tape to tape run one day. I'm gonna go down and like take our cardboard boxes down to the recycling. Someone's gonna have purchased an entire house's worth of furniture on Wayfair without having actually broken down the boxes or taken their name and address off the label. And we're gonna go up there and we're gonna have a conversation. I know one day it's gonna happen. I'd be like, hey, 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 you seem to have left uh, 15 extremely large uh, boxes unfolded in the recycling. I just want to know why you think your time is more valuable than everybody else's. Just interested to know why you think that like, you're the only person here that's like busy. I'm a heart surgeon. No, you're not. They're Ikea boxes. Don't flatter yourself. Okay, just match speed. Match speed! The front fell off. This shit is not as hydrodynamic as it used to be. The classic make up a guy and get mad at him? Or would you rather I do what uh, my prime demographic always does? Don't make up a guy and get mad at him? Pick a real guy and get mad at him? Spoilers, it's always Ted Cruz. I'm starting to think that me and this Ted Cruz guy wouldn't really get along if we met in real life.
thanks, Norm. Dude, did you see the... Because it must have been the anniversary of Norm Macdonald's death, right? People were posting his favorite jokes. I've never been a, a huge Norm Macdonald guy, but the clip from the ESPYs, where he says like, oh, this guy won Defensive Player of the Year and the Heisman in the same year, congratulations. No one can take that away from you. That is unless you kill your wife and a waiter at the same time, in which case, uh, what are you gonna do? Oh, man. Maybe I am a boomer, because I'm like a little too young to be laughing at O.J. Simpson jokes, but... I didn't kill my wife. I don't care! That's Tommy Lee Jones in The Fugitive. Ten times Norm MacDonald owned O.J. Simpson with facts and logic. Whoops. The clip of him uh, on Larry King is also extremely good. And I'm t I've never been a, a, a Norm guy. But maybe, maybe he's got a little something. Maybe the people aren't wrong. You are so bad at this game, God. Sanest um, Empress Cruz director in the chat right now. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Most normal cruise ship uh, driver of all time. Come on! This ship would never fly on Viking River cruises down the Danube, okay? I'm telling you. I've never been at the helm and lost 10... Oh, that's not 10,000. I've never been at the helm and lost 1,000 tourists. All right, we'll throw in a slash marker here. Slash marker. This is summer cruise 